In Chapter 8, I'll be creating a contingency table and then conducting a chi-square test, which is used to determine whether there, there is a significant association between two variables. There are four basic steps to conducting a chi-square test. First, establish a hypothesis. Second, create a contingency table to graph the observed results and then calculate the expected results. Third, calculate the chi-square statistic, and fourth, accept or reject the hypothesis. So in this example, we'll be looking at the employment status, either full or part-time, and whether or not a survey was completed. The null hypothesis is that employment status and whether the survey was completed are independent of each other. That is, the likelihood of taking the survey is the same regardless of employment status. An alternative hypothesis is that employment status and whether the survey was completed are not independent. That is, the likelihood of taking the survey is not the same for full and part-time employees, which implies that they are related. Next, to create a contingency table, select anywhere in one of the ranges. And then click insert, pivot table, pivot table, and then choose to put it on the existing worksheet. Click OK. And then you want to drag employment status down to the row labels, the survey status, or the survey down to the column labels, and then you can drag either one down to the values column. Close out of the pivot table field list. And then I like to delete the unnecessary labels. Now you have your contingency table that displays the observed results. You then want to calculate the expected results. And to do that, highlight the range that includes the values, copy, and then right click to paste and then choose the paste the only values and then delete out the results and use this formula here to calculate the expected results so equals row total times column table divided by the grand total. And you want to do that for each of your results. Equals row, row total times column total divided by the grand total. And now you can see the difference between the actual or observed results and the expected results. So, so to calculate the chi-square statistic, you want to use the chi-sq.test function. And then you select the actual or observed range, comma, and then the expected range or values. Push enter, and we get a P value of 0 0.003. And so what does that mean? Since the P value of 0 0.003 is less than the significance level of 0 0.005, we reject the null hypothesis. Thus, there is a relationship between employment status and whether the survey was completed. Alright, thanks for watching.